Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Jamin from the University of Manchester. Today I'll talk about mesoscale modeling of mechanical behavior and damage evolution in normal strata concrete. I'll briefly introduce the background motivation and model generation, and then we'll see some results from model validation with literature and my experiment and simulation results. So in a massive scale concrete, there are four main components. The first one is coarse aggregate, which is normally greater than two millimeters. Cracks normally don't pass through aggregate, so they are treated as elastic material. The second one is mortar with sand or fine aggregates embedded. Concrete damage plasticity model can be used for mortar. The key component is the interfacial transition zone, which is a very thin layer of porous mortar coating around aggregate. And the cohesive zone model can be used for ITZ. Large intrude voids can be observed in mesoscale concrete, and they also provide paths for the crack propagation. So they cannot be ignored. ITZs can be represented with zero or finite thickness. Actually, the thickness of ITZ is within 100 micrometers, which is negligible compared to a 50 or 100 millimeter specimen. Our group has published some papers on models with zero thickness cohesive elements inserted to mold both mortar and ITZ but only under tension. And Dr. Wonger uh, proposed a model with stereo thickness ITZ and damage but plastic damageable mortar without hardening. So my model is the first 3D mesoscale model that combines CVP mortar with hardening and zero thickness cohesive ITZ under both tension and compression. So how the model is generated? 3D mesoscale model can come from X-ray images or synthetic models. My synthetic model is further tessellated into vox a voxels. Then the voxelized models can be matched in a software called SimpleWeb. Next, a self-developed code is used to insert their thickness cohesive elements into ITZ. And finally, we import the model into EPCO standard and uh, compare the stress string curves and damage evolution with this experiment. So, in simpleware, the red particle is the void and the blue particle is uh, aggregate. Uh, 0.25 and 0.2. 0.15 millimeter voxel sense meshes are generated to carry out the mesh sensitivity test, and the 0.25 millimeter voxel sense mesh are used in the following results. So, as the weakest part in concrete, a uh, bilinear track uh, separation law is adopted for ITZ. Opening can happen in both in both normal and shear directions. Some key parameters here are the relative displacement, critical stress, cohesive stiffness and fracture energy, which can be calculated from other parameters. Node, pen node penetration sometimes happens when cohesive element is inserted in mortar interface subject to compression. A uh, CDP model is originally designed for concrete. However, researchers found the softening region of mortar is very similar to that of concrete. So it is feasible to apply the CDP model to mortar. Uh, my model is first verified with the tension and compression experiment from literature. So models with 30% cost aggregate volume fraction and 1% porosity is adopted here. 
and the uh, elasticity is very fat first. We can see the concrete from tension compression experiments are very different. After some trials and preparation, the following parameters are used here. So in tension, the Young's modulus is 60 gigapascal for aggregate and 18 gigapascal for uh, mortar. For a 30 megapascal uh, grade concrete, mortar normally has compressive strength of 45 megapascal and tensile strength of 4 megapascal. By introducing the ITZ, we can see the tensile strength decreases from 3.8 to 3.5 megapascals. More energy dissipated when the fracture energy decreases. If there is no ITZ, crack propagates only near the loading surface. Uh, when ITZ exists, type 1 crack pattern with one dominant crack is observed. Uh, here, the heterogeneity effect and the loading direction effect can be neglected. Under compression, with the help of ITZ, the compressive strength decreases from 31 to 27 megapascals. But there's little influence on the softening curve when increasing the fracture energy. Uh, in the model with cohesive values, crack initiates from ITZ first. Uh, after IDZ is damaged to a certain scale, mortar starts to damage. This is very similar to the crack initiation propagation procedure, where micro cracks accumulate in IDZ and mortar, and then propagate into a form a micro crack. Uh, similarly, the heterogeneity effect and loading direction effect are examined and they don't have, they can be ignored. So based on the validation results, I casted both mortar and concrete specimens to obtain parameters for my model, such as Young's modulus, tensile and compressive stress. After 28 days aging in water, the uh, three cylinders were scanned to obtain the uh, image-based model. These are the tensor and the compression machine. So the three black curves are the experiment results. Uh, elasticity is verified first, which is the red curve in the range of experiment data. Uh, then CDP motor is tested. The peak stress is similar to that of experiment. Uh, the model with cohesive elements are still ongoing, and the parameters I use here are not the final ones. Uh, but we can see from synthetic model 1, 2, 3, the elastic region are the same. For models, uh, for 30 and 40 percent CDP models, the compressive stress is uh, lower than is smaller than the experiment. For cylinders, uh, both synthetic models and image-based models are simulated, and the model with uh, 20 percent aggregate. Uh, model with uh, cohesive elements are completed and you can see the stress string curves is similar to the model without ITZ. Uh, this is because uh, different 
cohesive parameters can lead to different softening curves. Uh, further, if you look at the crack patterns, they are very different. And I'll show that in the next slides. Uh, for 30 and 40 percent CDP models, the softening region of a uh, synthetic model is always uh, drops faster than the image based model. Uh, the correct the correct patterns are very different. <laughs> so if there's no ITZ, the crack propagates from top middle to bottom left for both synthetic and image based models. When ITZ exists, micro crack propagates through the top right to bottom left, just as the experiment observation. And here are the videos of damage evolution. Uh, in the red model with cohesive elements, uh, crack initiating ITZ and propagating to mortar, forming macro cracks. Okay. So the model combining CDP with hardening and their thickness cohesive element can achieve more realistic modeling of concrete in both tension and compression. And the stressing curves and failure patterns agree well with the experiment. Calibration of parameters is very complex and work is still going on for the cohesive parameters. Thank you.